I give you taste of my love fact, I've been standing there for you. Can you saw the work that I got? I could be holding back. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I achieve my soft, glowy skin for the summer. Um, in the summertime, I don't like to wear too much makeup. Y'all know it's hot. It is 90 degrees in Atlanta today, and we're about to be outside, so I had to go ahead and get my skin together because it's gonna be a long day, a fun day, but a hot day, okay? So before I went out, I wanted to sit down and make this video just in case anyone is looking for, you know, a little bit of tips and tricks here and there to enhance your makeup look for the summer. As you can see, the category is skin, okay? I just went for an enhancement of my skin. No lashes for me because I'll be wearing shades anyways, but if you want to go ahead and add lashes, do your finger, I'll be to support you. But me personally, I think less is more, especially for this season, which is why I use tinted moisturizers, a good primer, SPF, of course. So just a few things that I use, but if you're interested in getting to see more and know more about my summer glowy skin routine, then keep on watching, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the most important steps for the summer. And just in general, um, I am moisturizing my skin with the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion, and this has SPF 30 in it. Now, whether or not you decide to wear sunscreen is up to you and your esthetician, but one thing about me, if I'm outside, I'm gonna wear sunscreen. Um, I just also have hyperpigmentation, so I never want to do anything that's going to put me at risk of um, making my dark spots darker. So I always use a sunscreen when possible. And then I pair that just with a hydrating primer. This is a Smashbox Photo Finish Illuminates Glow Primer. And I just put that in my T-zone because the goal is just to have really hydrating skin. Like I love dewy skin for this season. I think it just looks so much better on myself. And you know, makes me look healthier, alive, you know. All those good stuff, so. After I put that in, I go ahead and place a layer of powder all over my face, just as an initial barrier for any potential oils that'll definitely try to show up on my face later during the day. So, I'm just using my Givenchy powder and I'm placing that all over my face, y'all. Just everywhere, I'm doing a nice layer of it. A nice layer of it. And this is the same powder that you would use to set your face. So use just the same powder and just place an initial layer of that. And once that is complete, I can zoom y'all in so we can finally get started. Okay y'all, so for first steps, in order to minimize the amount of product we're gonna use overall, I'm first gonna go and take my concealer. This is a Juvia's Place concealer. And I'm going to put this all over my um, dark spots, any blemishes, hyperpigmentation, any of that, just to Minimize the amount of product I'll, have, product I'll have to use later and create an even canvas initially. You can also use any color correcting products, but I just prefer to use concealer because I'm not gonna go out and buy color corrector, I'm not. <laughs> Me personally, so yeah. So you're just gonna let that sit for a little bit so it can become more tacky. And I'm gonna go ahead and start on my brows. I'm using this e.l.f. Blah Brow product and then I'm just using that to brush the product through my brows because I love a more wispy look on my brows. Um, you can obviously do your brows to your liking, but this is how I like them. And this is just the initial step in setting them. So, you know, just move in accordingly. And after I'm done brushing that through, I can now go ahead and blend this product out. Now, just not too much padding. You're not gonna wanna spread it too much. You're just gonna literally blend, wanna blend it out. Okay, as you can see, I have a more even canvas, which is what we like, which is what we love. So now I'm gonna move on to base products, AKA foundation or tinted moisturizer. Me personally, I don't like using foundation in the summer. I think it's very heavy. Obviously, different foundations have different coverage, so decide whatever you wanna decide and use whatever you decide to use. But for me, I like to use a tinted moisturizer. And I have two that I've been using together for my second year now. So the first product is the Maybelline Green Edition it's just their Green Edition Tinted Moisturizer. And this is my summer shade. This is when I'm at my tannest, my bronzes, all of that. So when I came back from vacation, this was the shade I was initially using. Obviously it's been a couple weeks, so my tan has faded a little bit. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix that with the Fenty Ease Drops. So first I initially place this product all over my face, and then I go ahead and add the Ease Drops too to give myself the perfect shade for um, where I'm at presently. 
And then y'all can see how much I put on, not too much, just a little bit. And then I go ahead and just add a little bit of the leaf drops as well. Just dotting that wherever I feel like it. I don't put too much product on my forehead as y'all can see. Not too much product at all. And then I'm taking my, um, just a Sony Kashuk, just any foundation flat brush. I prefer to use a brush because the brush keeps um, the same level of coverage that the product initially has without blending out too much of it. And after I do this step, I like to go in with the uh, beauty sponge just to make sure that everything is nice and blended out and there are no creases, everything looks seamless. So once the base is complete, we move on to concealing. So once again, back to my Juvia's Place concealer. I'm just going to lightly add this under my eye. I'm just gonna let that sit once again for a bit. So, and then I'll go ahead and do a cream contour. Now, whether or not you do cream or powder contour is up to you. I prefer cream. I don't really have a preference, but for the summertime and just when I know I'm using a lot more cream products, I do prefer to use a cream contour as well. I'm just using the Huda Beauty. It's their uh, Fantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. So this shade is extremely dark for me. So what I do is I take the shade and I mix it with my concealer shade just to lighten it up. And then I just put that on my face where, you know, the contour. And I don't worry about blending that out too much yet because I'm going to basically blend the concealer into it and then blend everything together at the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty sponge and go ahead and blend out my concealer. And then I take the edge of my sponge and I just kind of brush that in to the contour a little bit so everything is blended and doesn't look too harsh. Here we go. After that is all blended out, then I go in with my um, blush shades. I use the Juvia's Place um, liquid blushes. This is in the shade Pink Lady. So I first take this and I put this. I put this shade right here on my face. And then I take the shade Blush Lily and I put this on the higher points of my cheekbone. I love these blushes so much. Like they're so amazing. If you don't have them, you need to try them out. They're so good and so pigmented. Watch me blend them out. How good that looks. I'm a blush girl, so I put the blush everywhere. <laughs> everywhere i love me some blush and as you can see my skin looks extremely healthy extremely glowy obviously i haven't set everything but i just want you guys to see how the canvas looks um with the products that i've used just looks really healthy overall and i love that because that's the goal we're going for so yeah so now it is time to set all of this cream product on my face so we'll first go in would be girl this is worn and done and tired but this is the fenty pro filter powder and honey when i tell you that i've had this for three years and i'm almost out of it it's time to re-up but i am going to my next powder that i'm going to purchase because i've heard so many good things is the patrick star uh what's it called i think it's one 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 size, the Patrick Star One Size Powder. That is going to be my next go-to powder because I've heard too many good things. I've seen too many women putting it on their face and it just literally making their under eyes disappear. And I need that, okay? I love this powder though. I've loved it for the years that I've had it, but it's time to upgrade. This powder, I'm strictly putting it under my eye. I'm not taking it into the blush at all. Now after I put that initial powder, what I do now is I go in and I powder contour. And for this, I use my Morphe uh, Glam Bronze in the shade Supreme. I don't know if they still make this. I don't know if it's discontinued. I think they do, but I love this shade. It's so good. Um, and I just, you know, basically put this right where I contour before. Not too much, no heavy hand. First I map it out and then I go back and I put it 
out really well. I go crazy on my forehead because y'all can see my forehead is gigantic. <laughs> Okay, and then I go ahead and I set my blush. So for that, I'm using the Juvia's Place blush, essentially the same shades I just placed on my face in the liquid blush um, formula. I'm setting that with the powder formula. Once that is done, then what we're gonna do from here is I'm gonna go back in with another setting powder. This is for my under eye. This is the Morphe setting powder in the shade Filter 6. and. I'm just going to take this lighter shade and I'm going to use this to set my under eye specifically but to also blend out the blush a little bit and to make like a seamless transition between the blush and the under eye shade. Once that is nice and set, we're going to go back to our brows and finish those up. So you can use any pencil. Um, I just use the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. And then moving back to eyes really quick, we're just going to take our bronzer shade and put that in our crease. Typically, I'm not big on lashes for the daytime, so I'm not going to worry about lashes today. Just because I have a different set that I would do if I am wearing lashes, so because I know I'm not, I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of liner for color. Go ahead and um, add mascara. This is just, you can use any mascara. I don't know mascara basically works the same. To complete the face, what we're gonna do is just reverse contour. And while that's sitting, we're just going to contour our nose really quickly, nothing crazy, taking the same bronzer shade and then just, you know, contour your nose to your preference. Blending it out. Don't look crazy. Back to my Givenchy powder just to set my face and make sure everything is locked in. I love this brush. This is the Sonia Hashuk, um, just the face powder brush. I recently got it and I love it. It's like, it's just so, it just feels so good on the skin. Go crazy with the powder child because you gotta lock everything in, make sure everything looks good. Okay, also, now we're at the final step, which is just to complete the lips. I already applied like a brown like liner. So from there, we're gonna take the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. I'm gonna use that exactly where I place the brown. I'm going to take um, the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie everyone's favorite and I'm just going to place that lightly in the center of my lip blend that out a bit and then just top that off with any clear lip gloss of your choice I'm using the essence juicy balm of my lip just like that and just like that you guys we are all done doesn't this look so nice and healthy like Obviously, you can tell I'm wearing face makeup, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Um, it looks nice. It'll last long throughout the day. I have SPF, I have primer, I have powders. I have layers that added to the look. I got a nice, juicy look going on. You know what I'm saying? I can reapply it easily. So yeah, this is my go-to summer look. I wanna pop a lash on, pop a lash on, girl. If you wanna add a little more contour, a little more blush, you wanna add a lot of highlighter, do your thing. I just added a little bit off camera, but nothing crazy, okay? Spice it up how you wanna spice it up comfortable do whatever it makes you feel comfortable but this is when I feel like the most beautiful when I'm just enhancing my beauty and you know typically if I'm outside I'm wearing shades anyway so that's a lot of the times why I don't wear lashes anyways because girl but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got a few tips that you can use make sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video Bye. I give you this of my love, fact I've been standing there for you. Can you saw the work that I got, I could be holding back.